start again. Uh. Hello and welcome to Hayfield. Uh, it's Saturday. We arrived yesterday with uh, well, Peak District, I should say. Um, we arrived yesterday through some interesting weather on the drive. Took about two hours. Yeah, it was snowy. <laughs> snow and all sorts, wasn't there? So yeah. that was uh, interesting. And then, um, yeah, pulled up. We'll show you the uh, campsite we're staying on. We're staying at Hayfield Caravan Camping Club site. I'll show you that later in the video. Um, but today the sun is out. It's a little bit chilly, but uh, it's nice to see the sunshine. And we're going on a what sort of about seven mile hike, taking in uh, Kinder Scout, which is sort of the highest point, I think, in this area. I think. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll get some good views. So we'll catch up with you a bit later. See, we said there was snow, and there it is. Some remnants from yesterday. As the highest point in the Peak District, Kinder Scout boasts unforgettable views, unique moorland, and even a waterfall. It's one of the most significant areas in the National Park as the site of the 1932 mass trespass, when ramblers from nearby cities peacefully protested on what was then private land, contributing to the change in the law allowing people to freely walk on access land. The mass trespass was a key event in the campaign for open access to moorland in Britain, which eventually led to the formation of Britain's national parks. The Peak District was the first national park founded on the 17th of April 1951. Today this breathtaking moorland plateau is a walker's paradise. At 2,078 feet above sea level, it offers some of the most breathtaking views in the country. So we're just heading towards the last bit of a climb to the top of the summit and look how steep this is. Going to be out of breath central I think. Really busy with people today as well, which I was really surprised about. It's definitely some kind of event going on, isn't it? Yeah, there's lots of people with numbers on. So we're making our way round currently. It's a waterfall, but not be kind of beautiful. There's some nasty looking weather around for that rain cloud in there. Massive rain clouds and the pond is there. And the mark hits us with a big shake as well. It's been glorious so far. So we've battled through some snow, which you can see on the ground. The sun is just about to come out again, which is nice, and just the business there is the trick point. So that's where we'll summit Kinder Scout. So there we have it, we are at the top. So I've started that set now, the sun has disappeared again. It's snowing again. It's snowing again. Um, so yeah, we, we did think that where should we camp on this trip? We thought, you know, Hayfield North from the side, but we didn't think, oh, maybe we should just camp on the top of Kinder Scout. It's hardcore. It's a bit more hardcore than we are. Right, we'll catch on the way down. Descended this and it was pretty scary, I'll be honest, with the dogs in tow. Obviously, we're heading down, we're heading over there, which is the campsite sort of over that brow. So, let's get back and get warm. Right, we're literally around the corner from the campsite. It's a uh, 
What sort of length we got on that? I thought it would be about seven-ish. Did you, did oh, you, yeah, you, did did you track it on the old Fitbit? Uh, it says 8.27, I don't know. So we're not even back yet. That's a little bit out. The campsite's literally here though, so. So yeah, that's beautiful. I really enjoyed that. Weather was changeable, yeah, I would say. Yeah, um, But yeah, it was really good fun. So I think it's now time for a hot shower and some food. So Definitely. we'll catch you in a bit. So we've had a shower, um, which was quite nice. You said yours was nice and warm. Mine was adequately warm, I would say. Mine was lovely and warm. I wish it was, I just, I wanted to feel like really toasty warm. Like, you know, when you're at home and you have a toasty warm shower, which we've had a few times when we've been away, but yeah, it was not quite as warm as I liked. It was one of those showers that you needed to warm your bones, wasn't it? Because it was so cold yeah, up there. Yeah, there was a few times we were freezing up on the wall. But yeah, obviously you can see we're inside the awning because we're using that for the first time this time. Uh, we'll probably do, put, put, put some more shelves later on in the video. The actual awning prop yeah. up. But yeah, we successfully managed to put it up yesterday. I think it took probably five, ten minutes maybe to put it up. We yeah, and then really probably quickly. a few more just to peg it down and make sure it was in the right place and stuff. Definitely. But I think didn't um, take too long. There's definitely a there's practice need, I think, setting it out. We sort of had three goes on sort of setting it out as a hexagon. It's a bit different to sort of normal. So uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's just the shape, isn't it? Yeah, it, just, it just needs a bit of uh, tweaking. A bit of practice on that. But yeah, been been lovely so far. The sun's out again, which is nice. It's not that warm still, but it's still nice. But yeah, so we we left on so we Friday uh, yesterday, which was obviously after work, and uh, we still had to sort of, this is the fourth or fifth time we've been away, I think. Yeah. And we sort of started to get a bit of a routine going, um, you know, like Thursday night, knowing that we'll try and get off as soon as possible after work, we'll start to put stuff in the camper, get clothes together, you know, a lot of stuff stored in the camper anyway. Yeah. Um, but, you know, stuff that isn't stored in the camper and like perishables, like food and stuff that we put in, we'll put in on Thursday so that there's minimal things to do to the, to the camper before we can head off, which is really, really good. It seems to mean you can get on the road quicker, which is brilliant. Um, yeah. And this time, we actually put something in the slow cooker on Friday before, during the day, didn't we, while yeah. we were at work? Yeah. Which meant once we got home, we could just put that into a Tupperware container and um, we could just eat that as soon as we got, as soon as we were here and set up, we could just tuck into that, yeah. which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, that's the first time we've done that, but I think we'll probably will do that on these shorter trips anyway, where you, maybe you arrive and you set up and you, you drift a couple of hours and you just want to... Yeah, then the, there, was to a, there was a there was a chilli ready for us. Yeah, yeah. But what, Perfect. What routines do you guys have? You know, what things do you try and do when you go away? You know, are you doing similar things or is it something we're missing out on? So yeah, be yeah let us know. To see what you guys do. Anyway, time to get some food now, which I think is, I don't know, Carbonara, pasta, yeah. pasta or something. Um, yeah, we'll catch you later. Tucked away in a valley in the Peak District, Derbyshire, Hayfield Caravan and Camping Club site is well presented throughout. The site comprises of hard standing and grass pitches with plenty of room throughout. For those looking for something a little bit more luxurious, there were glamping pods and also ready camp tents available. The toilet block was clean, warm and well presented and plenty of access to showers and toilets were always available. The showers were a little on the cool side for me, I'd like them a little bit warmer. There was even the availability of barbecue points should that float your boat. But by far and away the best thing that we found for the site was the sound of running water which was right across the road that ran beside the site and it was just lovely. Nice little brook. Morning, so it's pack down day. Time to go home, unfortunately. We've, uh, we've enjoyed our stay at Hayfield. It's a lovely um, site, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, and it's so nice to wake up. You know, here um, running water. There's a stream literally across the road from us. 
yeah it's lovely and just i mean today especially the sun is glorious um but yeah we just thought we'd finish this video with a little tour of the awning um which we said we would do so here we go so this is as viewed from uh the camper so this is sort of what you'd be greeted with as you open your camper door and yeah it's, it's a big space you know we've got you know, that's our chairs and a little table set up the dogs are in here we've got our yeti in here which i can't see whether you can see oh yeah it's there um yeah it's a big space you know you can see you can properly walk around in it there's there's plenty of space in here you know you could have you know five or six chairs in there easily oh you? yeah definitely so yeah, really pleased with it. Very easy to put up um, and currently in the process of trying to dry it out so we can put it away, uh, which hopefully the sun's going to help with that. Uh, but yeah, really, really pleased with it so far. We'll see, we'll see how it, uh, how it fares over time. But yeah, so far, very, very pleased with it. Right, that's it from us at Hayfield. Uh, and our walk in the Peak District. We hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, definitely give it a like. Uh, and if you're new here, subscribe, join us on the channel, watch our journey in our new transporter camper van. And I think that's it. See you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.